Darling, you So this might look like a giant box on a pallet, but there's something so much greater than that. This is amazing. So spoiler alert, this is a giant telescope. This is a 14 inch Dobsonian go-to telescope from Skywatcher. This is a monolith. It comes on a freaking pallet. When you get it delivered, it weighs over a hundred kilos and I don't even know what to say. I'm five foot 10 and it's up here on me. This is going to be absolutely mad. So I'm going to put it together, we're going to take it for a spin later tonight and hopefully capture some really amazing photos of Saturn and the planets. <laughs> this is huge! I can, I can lay on it. This is massive. <laughs> so I've just moved the mount box back here. I had to get it over a few steps outside of the garage. I am so excited. A big Dobsonian for imaging and just gazing at the night sky is really amazing. SCTs are obviously smaller, you know, you get more focal length in a small package, but you can't beat a big Dobsonian. I am so excited to get this built and to start imaging and looking through this at the night sky. We're about opposition for Saturn, Mars and Jupiter, planetary season is really kicking off strong. So I cannot wait to use this beast to get some of my best ever planetary images. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> size of this tube. If you're watching, subscribe to Bebo Astro. <laughs> At this point, I was anxious. This is a moment I truly never thought I would actually experience in my life. 12 months ago, I was feeling really flat and almost gave up doing astronomy. But this night reminded me that my resilience really paid off and I'm really glad I carried on. Astronomy and astrophotography can be really frustrating in some parts of the world. Endless cloud and rain and light pollution make it very difficult. But the key is to remember to take breaks when you need it and to never give up. Let's get back to me looking through this telescope for the very first time. I'm totally willing to ruin my night vision to tell you this. I've just had an amazing experience. I've just viewed M57 the ring nebula and you can see the green color of it really obviously and you don't have to use averted vision to see it either but i've just gone to m27 the dumbbell nebula i have no words apart from wow 
This is crazy. I can clearly see the apple core shape, but the the diffuse brightness is just staggering compared to an SCT. This is this is unrivaled. The views are just unbelievable. I'm now just viewing the Andromeda Galaxy. This this is amazing. I know I keep saying this, <laughs> but this is amazing. Messier 27 was just so cool. But Andromeda threw a big dog. Now that's something. <laughs> This thing is an absolute beast, a light bucket monster. What a night I just had. This was incredible, seriously. The amount of light this thing can capture and the things you can see with it, let alone photograph, is insane. Okay, just to reiterate, I'm five foot 10. Here is an eight inch Newtonian mounted on an EQ6R Pro. And here is a 14 inch Dobsonian. This thing is a monster. I cannot wait to get going taking photos of the planets with this beast. I know this is truly one of the best telescopes you can use that is within a reasonable budget and reasonable size. Don't get me wrong, this thing is a beast. It is massive. It makes my 8 inch Newtonian next to it look like a pencil. But I'm, I'm having such fun with this already. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing this unboxing build and first, my first experience with this telescope. If you enjoy all things space and want to see more with this beast and my other setups, please hit that subscribe button below, tap that like, and leave a comment on what you would like to look at through this telescope. As always, my name's Ben, you've been watching Bebo Astro, and remember to keep looking up. <laughs>